Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you another quick video review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at this DSC Bravado Swank Cricket Bat. Um, what's special about this bat is it's a long blade. We don't normally get long blade bats in. Uh, this one was custom ordered. Unfortunately it came out a little bit too light and not as big as what the customer was looking for. Uh, so he decided to take something else instead. So this one is now available. Uh, talking about the weight, this one is 27.5 ounce, so it's a very light bat for a long blade. Um, normally you struggle to get a 27.5 and a short blade cricket bat, never mind a long blade bat. Uh, this one's got a 37mm edge, a 63mm spine, a 22mm toe, and it is completely full in shape, there's no wood taken out. The grains you can see there nice and even, not perfectly straight, but it's a good thick toe. Grains through the back, you've got stain just there. But yeah, it's a very nice looking bat. For the grade, you've got um, a slight semi oval handle, even thickness all the way up, feels nice in the hands. If you have a look at the bow, you've got a gentle bow down towards the toe, going from around about a mid blade down towards the toe. Face, slightly rounded. These edges have been slightly rounded as well. And if you have a look at the face of the bat, you've got a slight watermark up this side, if you can see there, going from around about here, down towards the toe. It's not going to affect the durability, it won't affect the performance of the bat either. And then you've got a little stain just there. Uh, again, it's not going to affect the durability or the performance of the bat. It's mainly a, a visual or cosmetic defect and that's the reason they would have downgraded this cricket bat. So if you have a look at the grains, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grains. Um, those grains are pretty nice as well. So yeah, it's a nice looking bat. It's a grade two piece of willow, 249.99. So good value for money. And like I say, it's nice and light and pretty big for the weight and the fact that it's a long blade bat makes it pretty special. Balance and pickup wise, I would say it probably feels close to its weight, it doesn't feel too much lighter than its weight and um, because you've got a longer blade and a standard short handle you can feel the weight a little bit down low but two seven and a half um, is super light for a long blade so if you're someone who's really tall but you're not wanting a heavy bat then this is going to be a really good option and I'll just show you how it performs with a cricket ball. So in the middle, really good in the middle. Down towards the toe. It's pretty good down low. And then up towards the stickers. It does die off up towards the stickers. Um, so what I will say, even though it's a longer blade, the hitting area is probably not any longer than a standard short handle bat. You're just getting a little bit of extra length in the blade um, just to help dig out those Yorkers. Um, so basically the middle position it'll start pinging from around about here and then around about here it starts to die off towards the stickers. Um, so your hitting area is going to be this area here. So it's probably no bigger than a standard short handle bat in terms of the hitting area. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice bat and you're getting a nice wide sweet spot as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you have guys then please give us a thumbs up and a like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel then please do so. And I look forward to bringing you plenty more video reviews. So until next time guys, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.